Hi, welcome to All About WordPress. In this video, I'm gonna cover WooCommerce Wholesale Price Module in Booster Plugin. So I already explained about Booster Plugins, its configuration steps, and also and explained Multi-Currency Switcher Module in my previous video. So if you are not familiar with the Booster Plugin, I would highly recommend you to watch my previous video. I will include the link in my description. So in this video, let's see the wholesale price module in the booster plugin. So when this module is enabled, you can offer your customer with some discount prices in your purchasing on purchasing more and more quantity. So like if they're purchasing more than five quantities of your product, you can give them a discount amount for each quantity. So that means buy more and pay less. So let's see how that can be done using booster plugin so this is my wordpress dashboard so i have already activated my booster plugin over here so i'm just gonna click on the settings and and i can see my wholesale price module over here so i'm gonna enable it i'm gonna go to the settings of that module So oh, there seems to be some error in my something else. So just uh, neglect it now. Just skipping that part. So here you can see that WooCommerce, I mean the wholesale price module option. So I'm just gonna enable this module. And you have a documentation over here. So you can just look into it while if you have any doubt while setting it up. So it's pretty much explained. So here it is and uh, this is the shortcode available and uh, for you can use this shortcode in your product detail wherever you want to display the wholesale price table and then this is the format and i'm going to enable it for each product so this is quantity calculation i can use product quantity or based on the car quantity for wholesale products alone or for the total car quantity so i'm just going to keep it as product quantity over here and uh, more and more option for customization so i'm just gonna round my price and uh, I, s I just want to show my discount info on my cart page also and my discount type let it be percent if i want to exclude any product or include any product or categories so from this discount sale then i can just do it from here part so for now i'm just gonna do it for all products and with all categories and then if you want to include wpml get terms in all languages so you can just enable it over here so for now i'm just going to keep it as disabled and then this is one of the important part over here so in this basic version basic plugin you can only set one level so when if you're getting the premium version or booster plus plugin you can add more and more levels so what does this level means like if you want to give discount price or discount percentage for different quantities like if you're giving like for five products and you want to set it as 10 percentage discount but if the customer is purchasing 10 products you want to give them 20 percentage discount or if they're going to purchase more you want to give them 30 percentage discount so you can set the levels so for each number of quantity you can set different types of discounts so that's how the level works so for the basic version there is only one level available so i'm going to set it as just single one and minimum quantity to get discount is that it be two so if my customer is purchasing more than two quantity he is going to get the discount for each quantity so let it be discount and my discount percentage will be 10 percentage and if i want to add any rules i mean so the roles for wholesale pricing prices so i'm just gonna leave it as blank and save the changes and also one more thing i'm just gonna copy this and place it in my product detail section so i can see that in my product detail wholesale price table will be displayed in my product detail so for that i've just copied this short code and you can see in the products you can see one product info section 
where you can directly place the short code and that will be shown in my product detail so here having got that currency so i'm just gonna remove it and my add my price table over there also if i want to show this in my list place it over here and then click on the save changes so now when i go to my site i'm just gonna reload it So here now I cannot see the table because I have enabled per product level. So, so for each product I have to apply differently since I have enabled it. So if I want to apply it for all products at a time, so I can just disable per product option and click on the save changes. And then when I reload it, I can see for each product if I'm on a purchase more than two quantities so my regular price will change to 60 so for single product it will be one I mean here you can see so for if I'm gonna purchase chili just quantity one then I'm gonna purchase it with 23 but if I'm gonna purchase it quantity two then I can get each quantity at 20.705 so here I get a discount so if you want to apply differently like for each product so you can just enable sorry uh, this one so you can just enable the per product save the changes and then go to all product section and I'm gonna apply it for tomato just click on the edit button and you can see a section over here the booster wholesale price so i'm gonna enable per product level discount so here i have only one level because it's my basic version and for here i'm gonna just enable for three quantity i'm gonna give them 15 percentage discount just update the product Take your side, okay. The shop page, just check it. Mm, so, here all the other products are not having, and uh, since I have applied only for tomato, you can see I have offer for tomato alone. So, if I'm gonna purchase more than three quantity, I'm gonna get each at 12.75. So, this is how you can customize for different products in different way or you can apply discount totally to every products in the same row. It's all up to you. So this will really increase the sales. So if you wanna buy more quantity, you are gonna get the wholesale price. So and also you have another option over here in the booster settings for setting wholesale price for different wholesale roles. At the bottom, you can see here like if you want to set different wholesale pricing option for different wholesale roles you can do that over here so you can include the user role over here so that's how you can implement wholesale price module in the booster plugin thank you